Hello friends. Today we will learn about the different festivals that are celebrated in our country. India is a country which is well known for its rich cultural heritage. The Indian culture and festivals are popular worldwide. The Indian festivals can be broadly divided into two groups. National festivals and religious festivals. Some festivals are celebrated when crops are ready for cutting. These are called harvest festivals. We celebrate three national festivals in India. Independence Day, Republic Day and Gandhi Jayanti. Independence Day is celebrated on 15th August every year. This day is declared as a national holiday. India became independent on this day in the year 1947. The main function is held at the Red Fort Delhi. The national flag is hoisted by the Prime Minister of India who also gives a speech to the nation. Functions are held in schools, offices, in all state capitals and other cities. After we became independent, we made our own laws. It was decided that all Indians would choose their leaders themselves. Such a country in which there is the elected head of the state is called a republic. India became a republic on 26th January 1950. So we celebrate this day as the Republic Day every year. The main function is held at Kartavya Path in New Delhi. There is a grand parade as a part of the celebrations on Republic Day. Tableaus from different states make the event colorful and lively. Children who have won awards for bravery are also a part of the parade. The President of India gives them the bravery awards. Do you know, why is a flag considered necessary for a free country? It is a sacred symbol of sovereignty as well as the ideals and aspirations of nationhood and symbolizes the glory and collective pride of the nation. The third national festival is Gandhi Jayanti. It is celebrated on the 2nd of October to mark the birthday of Mahatma Gandhi. He led the people of India to freedom. That is why he is called the father of the nation. On this day, prayer meetings are held all over the country. People visit Gandhiji's Samadhi at Rajghat in Delhi to pay their respects by offering flowers and prayers. It was the poet Rabindranath Tagore who first called Gandhi the Mahatma or a great soul. Every year we celebrate many festivals, some of which are related to the seasons of the year. Birthdays of famous persons are celebrated as religious events. The major festivals of India are Holi, Dashera, Diwali, Christmas and Eid. Holi is the festival of colors. A day before Holi, people light fires, to show the victory of good over evil. It falls on the full moon day in the month of Falgun or March. People throw colored water and smear colors on each other. Holi symbolizes brotherhood. Special eatables like gujia and sweets are prepared and exchanged on this occasion. The Sarah the festival is celebrated in honor of Lord Rama's victory over Ravana, 
over a period of 10 days. The Ram Leela is staged for the first 9 days and on the 10th day the effigies of Ravana, Meghnath and Kumbhakarna are burnt. The Shehra marks the victory of good over evil. In West Bengal, it is celebrated as Durga Puja. People worship idols of Goddess Durga. On the 10th day, the idols of the Goddess are immersed in the river. In Gujarat, the Shehra is celebrated as Navratras. And for 9 days, people dance and sing songs around a lighted pot called the Garba. Diwali is a festival of lights. It is believed that on this day, Lord Rama came back to Ayodhya along with his wife Sita after 14 years of exile. On this day, people worship Goddess Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth and prosperity. People illuminate their houses with lights of different colors, diyas and candles and the houses are decorated. People exchange sweets and gifts with their friends and relatives. Christmas is celebrated on the 25th of December by the Christians. Jesus Christ was born on this day. On this occasion, prayers are held in churches all over the country. People decorate their houses as well as the Christmas tree. Children wait for Santa Claus to bring gifts for them at night. Eid is the festival celebrated by the Muslims. Ramzan is the ninth month of a Muslim year. In Islam, it is the holy month of fasting. Throughout the month, Muslims fast from dawn to dusk. The day of Eid marks the end of the period of fasting. People go to the mosques and offer prayers called namaz. They embrace each other and wish each other Eid Mubarak. Money and clothes are distributed amongst the poor. A special sweet dish called sevai is prepared in every home. Do you know, the holiest place for the Muslims is the Mecca in Saudi Arabia. They offer namaz facing in the direction of Kaaba, the shrine in Mecca. Guru Purab. It is a festival celebrated by the Sikhs in honor of their religious gurus. Guru Granth Sahib, the holy book, is taken out in a procession on these days, special prayers are held in the Gurudwaras. Raksha Bandhan It celebrates the purity of brother-sister relationship. On this day, every sister ties a silken thread called a Rakhi round the wrist of her brother. The sister prays to God for her brother's long life and happiness. Brothers also give gifts or money to their sisters, which is a sort of promise that the brother will help his sister in times of need. Ganesh Chaturthi It is an important festival celebrated in Maharashtra and lasts for 10 days. People make beautiful idols of Lord Ganesha and worship them for 9 days. On the last day, the idols are immersed into the river. Pongal It is celebrated in Tamil Nadu for three days. Cows are fed with pongal rice. Pongal rice is prepared by cooking rice in milk and jaggery. The sun god is worshipped on this day. Onam It is celebrated in Kerala. Wearing new clothes, having a special meal on banana leaves, and enjoying boat races are the main features of this festival. Baisakhi Baisakhi is the harvest festival of Punjab 
and it is celebrated in the month of April every year. People perform Bhangra dance on this day. Bihu Bihu is the state festival of Assam. It is associated with farming. Folk songs and the Bihu dance mark the festival. There are three Bihu festivals in a year, coinciding with three farming phases, that is sowing, sapling and harvesting. Teacher's Day The 5th of September is celebrated as Teacher's Day. On this day, Dr. S. Radhakrishnan was born in 1988. He was the first Vice President of India and later on became the second President of India. He was a great man who started his life as a teacher. We celebrate his birthday as Teacher's Day. Children's Day, also known as Bal Divas, is celebrated on Pandit Nehru's birthday on the 14th of November every year. Children's Day is a day of fun and frolic for children all over India. Schools organize cultural programs and competitions. This day reminds everyone of the love Chacha Nehru had for children. Let us summarize. India is a land of festivals. Festivals bring happiness and unity. Festivals are of three types. National, religious and harvest. Republic Day, Independence Day and Gandhi Jayanti are our national festivals. Holi, Dashera and Diwali are the important festivals of the Hindus. Ganesh Chaturthi is the main festival of Maharashtra. Guru Purab is an important festival of the Sikhs. Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha are the main festivals of the Muslims. Christmas is the religious festival of Christians. Pongal, Onam, Bihu and Baisakhi are some of the harvest festivals. Children's Day, Teacher's Day and Rashtriya Ekta Divas are the birthdays of great people which are also celebrated as festivals.